The Texas Tribune, not exactly a nonpartisan news outlet, is reporting today, Harris is shrinking Trump's lead in Texas. Trump may not win Texas. Now, to me, that sounds a little bit like wishful thinking, but they've also pointed out that Colin Allred is in within striking distance of Ted Cruz. People are trying to come up with a funny nickname for Colin. I've heard a few people call him Black Beto. Concussion Beto, I think, is better. Because he's like the dumb jock version of Beto. Beto would roll across the stage on a skateboard and eat Whataburger. <laughs> Colin doesn't have that. Colin spoke the other day at the DNC, and he's listing off what he's going to do if he gets elected. You know, more trans kids and more gender-affirming care and abortions and all that. And then he says, and secure the border. And nobody in this giant stadium filled with liberal Democrat voters. Secure the border? Are we at the wrong convention? Before there was Colin Allred in the state of Texas, there was Beto O'Rourke. And before there was Beto O'Rourke, there was abortion Barbie. There were a lot of these news stories about why I caved on guns when I ran for governor of Texas. Now, over and over again, these liberal Democrats who want to try to take the state of Texas will come out and go, I support gun rights. I support border security. And then as soon as they don't win, both Wendy and Beto did this. They come out and they go, eh, I didn't really believe that. I just thought I might be able to take over the state of Texas. And liberal Democrats defend them. There's no Republican equivalent of this, where like a Republican tried to win in California and he came out and said, I support abortion. And then he loses and he goes, I didn't really support abortion. I was just trying to win. And for some reason they get the pass. Do liberals just not have any ethics or morals? Why is this okay?